So this video is a bit of a channel update and a bit of a before and after test. Just to give you some background here, my YouTube studio here is just kind of an extra bedroom in my house. And I've had it for a while. When I moved into my house, I had an extra bedroom. Here's the behind the scenes for you. And there's carpet, which is fine for helping with some sound deadening. But there are a lot of just barren walls in here. And I always thought the room was maybe just a little bit echoey. And so for that reason, I always thought about some sound deadening, some sound panels, things like that. I always thought about it, never really thought about it that officially. And then thanks to either a Facebook or a Google ad, I came across Acoustimac. I'd seen some other before and after videos. And so I thought I would do a before and after video of my own. I'm gonna test some sounds before and afterwards so we can see if the $500 I spent on these is actually worth it for you to spend if you have a similar room that you're doing something like this with. I'll put the link to their website below. You can go and look at, they have a bunch of different options and they have some sets of things you can get, which is what I got for the back wall back there. And then I got just some individual panels for the side walls here. They have a bunch of different colors and if you're not sure about the colors for $8, they will send you all of the color options that they have. On their website, I think they have the charcoal and gray as their example. But anyway, if you're not sure, I think it's worth spending the $8 because sometimes you're just not sure, should I get the stone or the khaki? And what's gonna go better with my walls? And these boxes finally arrived and I thought I would just open it in front of all of you and then we will put them up and see what they look like. Oops. For the back wall there, I got the charcoal and the khaki and then the navy for the side walls here. So these are the three by one foot panels. You can see here by two inches deep and I got six of those to go there. I'll put those up. Looks like they send packaging hardware here. We'll open that in a bit. Here's the other color I got, that stone color. I got a few longer panels here. They have the one inch deep and the two inch deep. This is a one inch deep. And I think if I remember correct on their website, they say, you know, what's the, when do you get one or the other? They said, if you're just doing voice, which is me here, the one inch deep panels are fine. That's gonna go over here on the wall. And then a navy. That is going to go back here. The mounting I can tell is going to take some time and effort. There's definitely going to be some assembly required here because all these pieces are just standard flat wood on the back. So it's going to be a lot of measuring, a lot of leveling around the room here. I got a laser level to see how this goes, but I think this is going to take some time here. I'll bring you along for parts of it. All right, it's a couple days later, and finally last night I had some time. I took a couple hours and I was able to get these mounted. It's not a hard process, but it did take me a couple hours because especially if you buy a lot of them, I bought uh, six, nine panels, and you have to install two Z-clips or two Z-mounts. What are they called? Z-Z-clips. 
for the paper here. Two Z clips on each one and then two on the wall for each one. So it's a lot of screwing into the the panels and the wall and measuring. So it just, it just takes time to work through. Once you kind of get into it, you get a system and it goes pretty smoothly. Some stuff that I found that I thought was useful was an angle, a regular ruler, tape measure, pencil, and one of the, I think the most useful things, I got a laser level. So just to show you how this turned out on the side walls and back wall, I have a four by one piece there and then a two by four and a two by four over there. The navy there goes well with the navy wall and then stone here and stone over there. And so I was able to take the laser level and just figure out what height I wanted and put the laser level there for that one and then just kind of rotate it around the room to get the same height for all three of them. And then on the back wall, I did this staggered setup with the three by one foot panels. There's six of them. And the way I mounted these was I put the laser level for the top ones and then I lowered it three inches. So these are three inches down and three inches apart. And this whole six panel setup takes up 86 inches, just a little over seven feet. So here are those Z clips. They come with two per panel, unless you get a, I think a four foot wide panel and then they will do larger ones. So two on each of these. And then I mark them on the wall and put two on the wall and you just kind of take them and sit them down in there. My only issue with these is that for the most part, I got them pretty straight, except for this one here is at just a little bit of an angle compared to the charcoal one on either side of it. You can buy a longer piece like this. This is a one foot, which is gonna be just a little bit too long for certainly for these, but for these larger panels, that would be an option, something like that. But overall, it still wasn't that bad doing it with the two clips per panel. And again, you kind of develop a system. So I'll do an initial sound test comparison here in just a minute. But my initial impression of them is the room is definitely drier sounding. I watched a bunch of videos of other people that had put these things up in their rooms. And afterwards, they would do this test. They clap and they would kind of try and compare it. And I felt like a lot of them, they do it and then they'd they'd say in their mind, what they were saying was, oh, that doesn't sound much different, but I just spent all this money on this, so I have to say it worked. Uh, I spent my own money on this, about $550 for all these, and I told myself that I was gonna be completely honest, if this didn't make a difference, I was going to say so, even if I wasted my money. I will say that in my just, what I'm hearing from me speaking in the room, the room is definitely drier. Uh, we're gonna test it here in a minute with some real stuff, but whether that dryness translates to the microphone, We'll find out, but so far, so good. This is the room without the Acoustimac panels on the wall. And I do feel from looking around the room and talking without these panels on the wall and just listening to myself speak, I don't know how it's going to be on the microphone, but there is more echo, more vibrations and resonance to the room than with the panels on the wall. This is what the room sounds like with the Acoustimac panels up on the wall. And to me speaking in here, compared to without them, the room does sound drier. We'll see how it comes out on the microphone. So there you go, the install process as well as the before and after of this room with these Acoustimac panels. I went back and listened to the recordings that I just did, the before and after, before recording this part of the video. And was there a night and day difference between the two? Uh, I'm not sure that there was in the end. I do think that sitting here, the room sounds drier to me, absolutely, definitely does. But if that difference in dryness doesn't translate into the microphone and you hearing the video, does it matter? to a degree for the purposes of doing this for the videos, you know, maybe not as much. Was it worth the $550 I spent on the room? You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I am glad that I did it in the end. I mean, it, it was a lot of money, but aside from the fact that it does make the sound a little bit better, I think they look nice on the wall. And one other option that they give me is that if I want a little bit less complicated video background for doing videos, I come over to this side of the desk and I have these panels here and they are a little bit more interesting than just a light gray wall that I would have otherwise. So it gives other options for that. 
And depending on the decor of your room, you know, they come in lots of fashion colors. So you can pick all sorts of options to spruce up your room if you want. So different options there. Again, is it worth the money? I don't know. Post some comments. Let me know if you can hear a difference below. Let me know if you have these. Let me know what you think overall. And I appreciate you watching and I will catch you in the next video.